Hi guys, so uh, I kind of want to share about this deal, uh, this tool over here is called Diner Pictures and uh, Diner Pictures, uh, they are current on, currently on AppSumo right now and uh, the deal is pretty good, alright, so let me kind of share with you what you get. In final pictures okay it's 76 dollars over here right and you get you get uh you get 2000 images per month okay and uh uh you get okay so what it does is uh, let me just kind of show you their home page over here so what it does is that this tool itself it's a uh, image uh, is an image designer with an open API. Okay, it's an image designer with an open API. And what it means is that every single layer, that means the text, the background, the image, the lady here, everything can be customized using API. That means you can be sending data to be changing the text in here, the text in here, the background, the lady you could change it to a guy automated right you can use uh, google sheets to do this which i'm going to be showing you shortly uh you could do this with a form as well uh you know you could be doing this with a lot of things but uh you know it'd be it's uh, easier if you were to use google sheets to do this so uh that's what i'm going to be using uh, of course you can be using any other uh you know cloud-based tools as well as uh, cloud-based uh, sort of uh, sheets tool as well right uh, as long as there is integration and why would you be using this is because uh, first thing you can use it for e-commerce so for example you could have a white mark over here okay like maybe one of these marks over here and you could you know if let's say someone purchase the mark from you and you want to sell some personalization in here they could just enter what they want and it will just show up in here to kind of give the buyer an idea of how it will look like right or i mean you can not uh you can also you know it could be a t-shirt whatever it is right so it's very useful if you are like a print on demand e-com store okay like a print on demand e-com store and you could use it for social media banners and they have a demo over here so what happens is that you could grab any tweet and you just put it in here and it will generate a bunch of images that you could be using for social media right so you can just make a tweet and it will generate this and then if you want to you can then take this final image and automatically post them to uh you know facebook instagram you know if you want to and without you uh, as long if you have a uh, using an automation to do this okay so this is where it comes in very handy and the last one will be using it for personalized emails so this is you could use this like uh, like as a hype rise or next brief uh tool right to to do some personalized emails because you can personalize the image itself okay so for example you could have a stock photo of a stock photo of uh maybe a starbucks okay so of Starbucks, then you get to the go. Okay, so for example, okay, it could be this one here, okay, and then this words, right, could be something else, could be, could be this, this one over here, right, this top photo over here. So this go is holding up this Starbucks thing, and you, you know, like in Starbucks, people will write their name here, so it could be your name. Right, right or your prospects name your leads name and uh you know it it makes things a lot more personalized right uh so you can ca capture people's attention with this 
Okay, so uh, so you could use it as a hype rise or mix with alternative, and uh, you know, uh, pretty much this is what it does, and they do have a roadmap as well. So the next thing that they are actually doing would be to add uh image personalization within your website itself, so you can embed the image, and uh, you know, the image can show up uh within your website itself, and also your you could uh personalize videos uh soon as well right i mean i i'm, I'm not sure when you'll be uh, pushing that out but you could be doing videos as well right so this is diner pictures and i'm going to show you how to use this with pebbly connect right because you can use this very easily uh, but you can use this with anything they have a, a direct integration with zapier and uh, of course, if you want to, you could use any integration apps, uh, Public Connect, Connect Z, uh, you could uh, use, uh, you know, ads and apps, whichever it is, right? So as long as you can do a API, you could use this. Okay, so once you come in here, they have a bunch of templates already. You, you could use this or you can create your own if you want to, right? So what I have here is I'm going to use this for a demo. Okay, and what I'm going to be doing with this picture, with this picture here, is this text will change to hello. This text will change to my name is. This text will change to Henry, and then I'll just put two image here to replace this. Okay, so how to do? How do I start working on this? Is uh very simple. Uh, we have public connect here, and I've already set this up with my Google Sheets. So the first thing you want to do is, uh, use Google Sheets. Uh, and put in the you know the columns that you want for the information that you want to change right the data that you want to change so uh, the title is Henry uh, hello right so this one is actually over here they'll tell you like title is hello text one is this text two is this image eight is this image nine is this okay so I've mapped them uh, correctly here as well and then I just grab two images and just place them over here so that I could replace it okay so now my sheet is done all right first thing you go into Pebby Connect create a workflow and uh, select Google Sheets in here okay and then with the webhook URL okay so you need to set this up you need to add the Pebby Connect webhook over here so uh, I've already set this up right just click on the initial setup put in the webhook URL and the uh, trigger column which is E which is the last one over here so that when the last one fills up the data will then be transmitted over to Pebbly Connect okay so uh, I've already set this up so we've already captured the data here okay so just follow the steps that they have put in here then uh, right now uh, right now Pebbly is working on a direct integration, right? A native integration with Dino Pictures. Uh, they are working on it right now, and it will it should be ready very soon because the Pebbly team are very fast at integrating new apps. So, but now it's not ready yet. So we're gonna use the API by Pebbly. Okay, so the action event is custom request. Choose method is post. Then we're going to put in this endpoint URL. So how to get this endpoint URL is very simple. Uh, it's within the documentation itself. And it is over here, right? So this one, HTTP request. And uh, so what you do is just copy this, okay, and paste it in here. And then you change this to be the UID. And the UID can be found over here, right? So it's already done so as well, right? And then... Uh, your payload type is JSON, uh, and then you have to put in your bearer token. Okay, so the bearer token, it, you have to paste it twice over here, and then add header, and paste it over here as well. Okay, so I've already done this. Uh, I've blurred this out, right? Because this is my API. Uh, how to get the API? Just go to your profile. Just click on this. It will show your API uh, key, and you can build this. Uh, out very simply over here all right this is the authentication so you put a uh, bearer space then the api key like this all right so just like what i've done here just choose bearer token then bearer space api key then you put here authorization then bearer space API key like that okay then over here whatever you that you want to map out 
to change or very simply you can just go into uh the image uh i mean the the editor over here then click on avi console okay then uh first thing is i'm not going to change the background i'm going to change the canvas the content background and mobile devices so i'm going to delete these okay and then uh it's just the title text one text two image eight image nine so i'm going to change this right so all you need to do is copy this paste this in here so i'm just going to redo this over here right okay so so this is all the demo information here so i'm going to change this Oops. okay let me delete all this and paste this again and this one is title right here it says title so i'm going to put hello then the next one is this one here i'm going to change this to text one and this is text two then the image here is image eight then the last one is image nine just like that okay then uh the next thing that you do is uh and this is everything i just send and save and send the test request okay and then it is done Right, so this is the picture that is being created. I'm just going to paste this in here and show you. So this is how the picture has been created. Of course, you know, if I were to if I want to make this nicer, I have to maybe change the background to text, right? To transparent, right? Make the layer transparent, right? This one also because it's a JPEG image, so it's overlapping, right? So I need to set this uh, as a higher uh, layer over this one here right so this is uh whatever has been created so you can use this uh you know for anything that you want and it's uh it's it's i would say it's really simple to set up even without the native integration with the native integration it will be even easier uh they have a direct integration with zapier already okay so personally what i would be uh what i'm using this for is for uh is for personalized emails okay personalized emails for cold emailing and i'm also using this uh i will be using this once i can embed the images on a static web page itself by uh what i'm going to be doing is actually to be using it in a thank you page when people sign up for my uh my course right and then i can put a uh, you know let's say oh you can book a meeting with me and then you know some stuff like that to personalize uh and impress the buyer itself right so this is what you can do with diner pictures and you know i would say that uh, the deal itself it's 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 very worth it right and uh, i'm glad that i am making use of this right so uh, definitely check out Dino Pictures, right? Because it's only seventy six bucks, and you could you could get twenty uh twenty uh images from this itself.